I've encountered the first tech casualty from my move to Pennsylvania, and it is my editing PC right here. At first, everything seems fine about it. It turns on, works just well, all of the parts are slotted in correctly, but if you look here, it says the uptime of this PC is only less than five hours, which is weird because I haven't intentionally turned this PC off in like two or three days. And that's because randomly this PC will just shut down. It's gonna completely turn off. I can't replicate it on camera because it happens just in the middle of whenever. It doesn't matter if I'm doing nothing besides web browsing or if I'm actively working on tasks in Premiere Pro, it just randomly shuts off. And it does it at varying intervals at right now we're sitting at around five hours, but I left it on overnight, came to check on it at 5 a.m. and it had been up for over 13 hours at that point, but I haven't shut it down and it's only been up for five hours now and it's 11.30, so clearly rebooted itself at one point. And it's such a weird issue that's happening. The PC will just completely turn off. The screen stays on, everything else that's connected to the same power outlet does actually work. I have a few hypotheses that I actually wanna test out. Number one, I wanna make sure that all of the cables are firmly connected. I already kinda checked, but I need to really get it out from behind there in order to fully establish, yes, there's no cable that's pulling out that might be shorting out the components and causing it to crash. Number two, wanna make sure that nothing got loose. There's no like, screws that are behind the motherboard that are causing a short of any kind. And what I've already done was I changed up my power outlet situation, made sure that my outlets are grounded, that they're surge protected, and it's not something that's actually coming from this power outlet over here. I've switched things around. It still is doing the issue. So it's time to experiment and see how I could potentially fix this PC and get it to still run. Which by the way, you're gonna notice that the PC is on a step stool and that's because I'm in a basement and I don't want it to flood up and actually hurt the PC, but I also don't have room for it on my desk, so it stays on the floor on a little step stool. So in case floodwaters come in, I can have time to rescue it. Early the next morning. All right, I just got up to work this morning. It's like 4.30 a.m., but my PC is shutting down so frequently, I'm pretty sure I can catch it on camera now. Like, I've had it happen four times in the last 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna keep working and then hopefully something pops up. There it is, there it is. I, I just clicked on purchasing something on eBay and the PC shuts down. Like the the monitor stays on, everything's fine. It, it just feels like the PC is dying and that's it. Like, oh man, so frustrating to work with. And just because I know this is gonna come up as a point of conversation, the 10900K that's in the system is currently sitting at around 40 degrees, maybe 50 degrees on the hottest core while I'm doing web browsing. So it's clearly not temperature related on the CPU. It's the same with the motherboard. Again, that's not overheating. SSD, 39 degrees, GPU, 42, maybe 50 degrees. Everything about the PC is staying cool. I've checked all the coolers. Everything is still in line. All of the basic troubleshooting that you would go through, like checking the temps and making sure everything's plugged in right. Like I've, I've already done that. It's This continues to baffle me. What's honestly the most frustrating thing about this entire shutdown experience is I just worked on this computer for two straight hours to get hot news ready and it didn't crash once. Thousands of tears later. All right, you know what? I'm kind of ticked off because I don't, I don't know how I fixed the computer, but I did, all right? I was planning on taking it out and like moving it over and just testing all the connections, replacing the power supply and trying to get it to stop crashing on me. I've been busy with a lot of other projects, so I haven't really been able to get to that. But you know what I did do? I did two things, all right? And it has solved the problem. Number one is I got a second monitor for my setup. So I have a monitor plugged into the display port and I have a monitor plugged into the HDMI. So you would think it's some weird thing with the GPU, right? Well, I only had this monitor plugged in for like three or four hours when I got a new GPU delivered to me and I needed to test it out because it was a used GPU from Macari. I needed to make sure that it works. So that thing right there is a GTX 1650 Super. It's not the same 1060 was, that was in the system. And with those two changes, this computer has not crashed in over 24 hours. To which then my response was, okay, well, it's probably the GPU that was defective, except I went ahead and I put the GPU in a different system, my test bench system, because I've never had a problem with this card before. And it's been sitting fine with almost nine hours of runtime. They're both plugged into the same outlet. The computers are just on two different tables. The GPU I thought was faulty and it clearly isn't. I 
don't know why my computer was randomly shutting down. I have zero clue. Plugging in a monitor and then swapping out the GPU solved it. Because at first I thought it was a fluke. I thought it was gonna crash at some point because clearly a GPU swap is not going to be enough to actually shut and stop this system for shutting down because there's probably an issue with the power supply. No, I didn't even move the PC. I just like ducked under my table. I uninstalled the GPU, I put a new one in there. So I didn't move anything around. There's maybe no loose contacts that are happening anywhere. I didn't use a completely different PSU cable. It's the same six pin PCI Express cable that's going into the GPU. I'm just, I'm baffled. GPU number one's working totally fine. GPU number two is working totally fine on this system. And I waited over a day to re report my results because I didn't trust them and everything's going fine. Man, sometimes I just, I don't understand computers. I couldn't work reliably for like a good five days on this PC. And then all of a sudden now everything's fine. And I can move forward making actual videos because I'm not worried about my PC crashing and then I can't actually continue to work. So. That's the absurd stuff that I've been dealing with. If you have any better idea of what could have potentially been causing this issue, obviously you're gonna be taking as much of a stab in the dark as I would be because there's no concrete evidence of anything being a problem. I didn't move it. It's not the compression of the step stool on the power supply casing. Like none of that has changed and now it's working fine. How would you have gone about troubleshooting this PC issue? Let me know down in the comments or come join our Discord channel and let me know over there because this one, this one stumped me. I'm just, I'm so confused, but I got to work with PC now. And in case you want to see what I use this benchmarking PC for, you can go check out our APU review that we did, the 5700G versus the 5800X. And I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Cheers.